Coach Garnett, two C3s in a, two years in a row, right? Yeah. You were in Iowa last year? Oh, yeah. I've and done the Georgia one as well. Have you? Yep. You've yep. been everywhere, man. I did the initial compound clinic, the very first C3 down well, in Georgia. You were at Lehigh then, right? Yep, yep. I was with Lehigh then. Okay, now we're in the, uh, you got the dirty mop in the background there. You and Coach yeah. Pumpelese, you got the dirty <laughs> mop in the background. Yeah, I don't know what to say, but this is... <laughs> Uh, but, but listen, let's talk recruiting, right? Yep. This is like what you guys make your money on mm -hmm. in a Division One in North Dakota State, uh, Fargo, North Dakota. First off, the biggest recruiting event is it's at your facility. Correct. What's that like having that there? Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's nice just to have, you know, some teams will host their training camp there and they'll use our room. They're taking Instagram photos, Snapchats, all of our uh, bison uh, word marks, our logos, colors are all in the background. So it's nice for them to be able to put that stuff out. It's almost like an extra marketability piece for us, you know, and then obviously, you know, getting to brush up against, you know, a bunch of the kids as they're crossing through different facilities that they use on our campus um, that we have access to is is, is pretty neat. So um, it's a it's an extra benefit to us and it's, it's nice just to have that amount of kids get to our campus, be running around, biking around, walking around campus, seeing what it's like, seeing what the town is like of Fargo, um, and, and as well as our brand new facilities we have. So it's been great. Compound College Combine, you know, as we talked, you, you were at the first one. Now, you know, we're in the fourth year of it, and, uh, you know, you've been across the country for it, and mm -hmm. what do you think this does for you guys recruiting-wise, and, and what Co Coach Fratwell and Coach Yates, one of your college teammates, mm -hmm. Yates was, but... You know, what does it do for North Dakota State and why do you like coming here? I think it's great. I think it helps widen our footprint. You know, when you talk about North Dakota State, there's probably not many kids in Florida that are familiar with North Dakota State or, or know what North Dakota State wrestling is or the fact that we're in the Big 12, for example. So I think events like this is great, you know. So when I go to the one in Georgia, Florida, Iowa, you know, it's, it's all about educating these kids and educating these parents, you know, and letting them see you, letting them see the things that you teach because the things that you teach are, are related directly to your program. So a bunch of the stuff that I'm going to do today you know, stuff that we do up at North Dakota State and a bunch of these kids may say, hey, I like the way this coach teaches or what he's showing and, you know, the parents uh, cross paths with you, they get to talk with you, now they get familiar and I think it just helps grow your program um, from a visibility standpoint. You know, getting in front of these kids is huge nowadays. You know, when they're seeing you, they instantly get interested. Okay, you know, you, as far as you, you know, you, you've traveled well. You know, you're an All-American at Virginia Tech, but and, and you've seen it. You've got, you know what the it factor is. You're from Delaware. Right. Which, that blows my mind. There's a Delaware kid here <laughs> who's scrappy, right. man. Really fun to watch. But, you know, you've been all over. You've done it. What are you looking for in a kid? You know, you were one of the best guys in the country mm -hmm. coming out of high school. You're good. Right. Right? Blue chipper. Mm -hmm. No question. What are you looking for? Maybe some of these guys aren't blue chippers. What are you right. looking for in the non-blue chipper? The work ethic. You know, I, I the only way I got there to the point where I was to be recruited um, was through hard work. You know, I had to seek out opportunities. So stuff like this resonates with me that these kids being here because that's things that I had to do. You know, I didn't start wrestling until that transition between my sixth and seventh grade year. So you're talking about when college could start to recruit me, I had five years of experience. That's rare. And some of the programs that I was able to talk to on the phone and go visit campuses, that only happened because, you know, I went and did double practices. I wrestled at all the large national events every single year. I went to all the camps, every single clinic I could. And so these kids that are here, they automatically get credit from me just because they're here in the month of August, you know, taking up a part of their summer for two, three days when they could be out on the beach doing whatever with their friends, you know. So um, I basically look for kids that are, you know, good academically, good kids, um, come from a good background and ultimately are going to work hard and do the right thing. So I pay attention to you know, when I'm teaching, are these kids watching? You know, I'll, I'll occasionally, you know, glance my eye over to see if they're staring at the mat, staring at the ceiling, if they're paying attention. Um, you know, because this type of stuff is, is helping their wrestling IQ. So I want to make sure that they're committed to, to growing their wrestling minds as well. So um, all those different things that combine to, to make a good wrestler, um, you know, work ethic, toughness, wrestling IQ, good student, good person. We're about 10, 15 minutes out. You got to go get dressed. You got anything else for me? Nope. Absolutely. I, go Bison. Go Bison. Hey, go Bison. Right. Last right. one. Hey, good luck to you guys this year, and uh, I'm excited to see the technique. Appreciate it. Thank you.